I am in this room by myself today and I'm so excited because hopefully, I don't want to jinx myself, but hopefully it doesn't take me a lifetime to film this video. Yes, based on the title and the thumbnail, we are going to officially try the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Flawless Foundation. It's the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I got mine in eight warm. If you've been following me for a while, you know I've already owned this foundation. I featured her here on the channel, but girl, I don't even know what happened. All I know is that I ended up getting the wrong shade and it was way too light for me. I tweaked the color a little bit. I love the formula, but if I'm honest, it was still too light for me even after I tweaked the shade. So I think I got my right shade. I think, it's eight warm. I ended up picking this up in the drop shop over at Boxy Charms website. Yes, I opened up my subscription. Again, I'm only paying for the base right now. And I saw this and I had to snag it like a sappy though along with two other items. If you haven't seen that unboxing, you need to go check it out. Click up here so you can see my little drop shop order. I have another one on its way, but I didn't want to wait until the other one came to actually do the full on unboxing. So it'll be two different ones so that I can show you the items and I, I bought a little more on the second order. But anyway, not the point. <laughs> Digress. I'm going to go ahead and try this here on camera so that you guys can see what she applies like, what she looks like and be ready. I know some of you guys didn't get to snag your shade. Just maybe this is going to help you for the future in the event that they feature it again. Maybe you never know. Maybe in March they'll have more. That way you have your eyes peeled. Another thing that I was going to say, go on to your BoxyCharm account. Find the foundation. Even if they don't have your shade, say that you're like, man, I didn't get my shade. I hope they show it in the future. Go back into your account. Go into the drop shop. Find this foundation and um, go to the little heart at the top and click the heart. Because what's gonna happen is next month, whenever they have one of their like their stores or events, if they have more of these, like let's say they replenish the colors, it's really gonna help you out because you can just filter the like display whatever it's showing you to where it's only gonna show you what's in your hearts, like your favorites. And you'll find this a lot faster than having to scroll through the whole damn thing and then it sells out again. So um, that's what I like to do in order to find some of the items that I have my heart set out that I'm like, I want it next time they show it. That's how I ended up getting my Norvina palette, the one that I've been wanting forever, and one of the Dazzle Sticks uh, by KVD. It was already like hearted, so that's the first thing I go and check on my account every time I go onto the event store. That is a pro charmer tip. Here we go. This is what the foundation looks like. She is beautiful. She is stunning. The packaging is super luxe. And she went for just $18 on the drop shop. I considered going back in and just getting more than one shade, um, just in case, but because worst case, I would have given it away. But unfortunately, pretty much everything sold out fairly quickly. I love the pumpage. You don't need to use the pump if you don't want to. Um, if you wanted to pour it out for whatever reason, or pour like some for travel, and so that you don't have to carry the like bulky packaging, you can always like do like twist it open to remove some. I don't know who would do that, but you know. Anyway, let's prep the skin. You already know I'm gonna do my watermelon nice and my do drops. I do two pumps all over the face. So what I'm thinking I wanna do for this video, I wanna show you guys what it looks like once it goes on in comparison to when it dries. If you looked online for swatches and that kind of stuff, you would have noticed that each swatch would have a wet and dry version. This foundation does shift in color. It is not a like a, like a severe difference, but there's definitely a difference from wet to dry. It does it on paper, it does it on anything you put it on, it could even be the sponge. It's not like a regular oxidization, if that makes any sense. Usually a product will oxidize because it comes into contact with your oils and then it does this thing with your pH balance. It's like a chemical reaction, product, and your oils. And that's what causes a product to oxidize if it's going to oxidize. The thing about this is you can put this on a piece of paper and a paper doesn't have oil, but it's going to shift in color anyway. So I'm gonna do, um, let me see. I'm gonna do my regular two pumps anyway. I'm gonna do this half of my face first because I want this side. I think this is a good color match. I'm so excited. I want to, wait till this side dries completely. And I'm doing it with a sponge because I've always liked this one with a sponge. Just looks beautiful, really airbrushed and luminous. So I'm applying this, I'm gonna let it completely dry. So you'll see how it gets slightly darker, but then you're gonna look at it and go, well, now I don't notice a difference because now it's dry. 
And in that case, once this is dry, we're gonna do the other side, and this side will be wet, this side will be dry, and you'll notice a difference from wet to dry on the face. So we're all gonna do half of the face. Do, 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 do. This is actually a pretty decent color for me. Had it been a shade lighter, it might have been a problem. Okay, I think that's good, because if I move any further over to the left, I'll take up too much space, okay. Now, I don't wanna apply any product on it because I don't want anyone to think that it's because I put concealer on that anything looks any different. So we're just gonna leave her alone, okay? I'm gonna sip on my coffee. We're gonna give it two to three minutes, and then I'll be right back. Okay, girl, we are back. Now, do you guys see? It was a lot lighter, and now it's slightly darker. To the point, like, at first, you'd be like, oh, her neck and her face look kind of different. Like, she could still pull it off if she bronzes. It looks kind of different, but I don't know that it'll work, girl. Now, it's, like, blending in with my neck. It's there. So, we're gonna do the same thing. First of all, just look at the difference in the coverage. I think the coverage is beautiful. It's stunning. It kind of looks like second skin, right? So, I can technically just apply the foundation and move on with my life. No concealer, no nothing. And people would think I have amazing skin because this is a beautiful color match. And I keep looking at myself because I am impressed. Okay, I should have gotten this color the first time around when I initially bought it, but I didn't because I was an idiot. Anyway, okay, <sighs> calm down. You're getting way too excited up ahead. This is really exciting for me. This is a good moment because you guys know Charlotte Tilbury is my favorite brand. So now you see what she looked like. She blends into my neck. We're good to go. That was two pumps and the finish is a stunning. I'm gonna go, and yes, it looks amazing also if you were to use a brush, but I've always used it with a sponge and loved it. I'm gonna do another two pumps. Not that you have to do two pumps, but I'm doing two pumps because I wanna be fair. I want you guys to notice the difference the moment, and I'm gonna apply it the same way. I'm gonna blend it out the same way, but I want you guys to notice the difference in the color initially now that it's wet. This is dry, so just be on the lookout. As I'm blending it out, it is definitely gonna be slightly lighter. You see it, right? I'm not crazy. There's definitely, this is much lighter. And if I go this route, right? Let's just do this. I'm gonna blend this here because typically people will pinpoint it in the neck area. You see that, right? Much lighter, doesn't match my neck, matches my neck now. So I get it when you look at swatches initially, you're like, oh man, like I don't think I'm gonna find my perfect shade. And you would typically go one shade lighter just to be sure. Because if you go darker, it's a little harder to make it work. But when it comes to this foundation, I've always said this. It is just easy to make it work with any skin complexion, but at the end of the day, because it does shift in color once it dries, it's impressive how you can find a shade that works for you. Okay, here is the other side completely blended out. Once again, it looks weird because I'm like lighter here, darker here, but it's already starting to shift and shade. I say it and I love it. I'm so excited. I've never been so excited to see a foundation shift in color because this one actually matches me. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to apply um, my concealer and all that good stuff because this video is dedicated to the foundation and the foundation only. So I'm gonna apply my concealer, apply my face, apply my mm mm mm, and I'll be right back. Okay, girl, the face is officially done. And now let me explain. Powders are gonna work beautifully with this foundation formula. Look at that. Seamless, beautiful. I didn't have to worry about blending too much or anything like that. Like this does not have to be powdered, by the way. It does not have a tacky finish. It has a very um, powder finish. So it's a formula that's gonna be really comfortable for you. If you have very, very oily skin, you're going to like this. I still advise that you use a primer underneath it that is going to help mattify. But you know, even with those primers, like you still get somewhat oily. So using a primer that's going to help mattify the skin and then using this, it's, it's gonna balance everything out. So when your oils come through, it's not gonna come through in an aggressive way. It's not gonna shift your formula and it's not gonna make it look cake bumpy, weird in any way. If you have combo skin, girl, use any primer you want. You'll be good to go with this formula. It's super comfortable. I have normal combo skin. And if you have very dry skin, make sure you apply a nice kind of like hydrating primer because this does set with more of a mattifying finish. In a sense, it's kind of like a satiny matte. So if you don't want to look a little extra dry, then make sure you use a hydrating primer. Other than that, this formula is absolutely beautiful. By the way, I did film this eye look don't worry about it, it's filmed, it is easy. And I used the OPV Spotlight Palette. I promised you guys I was gonna make more videos with this, so no worries, it's coming your way, but yes, oh my goodness. 
8 Warm is me 100%. I'm so happy I finally have my shade. Make sure you guys comment down below and let me know, are you guys excited for your foundation? Have you tried it already and you just needed a backup? Did you snag it on the drop shop and get it already? I'm really excited for everyone to try this formula because it's one of my hands down favorites. But yeah, make sure you chime on in, in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys!